Welcome to Horsemanship Journal Audio, where you can listen to your favourite articles, discussions and interviews with leading influencers from the world of horsemanship. Amazing Grace by Franklin Levinson The Joy of Compassionate, Successful Horsemanship I once was lost But now I'm found was blind but now I see These words from the last line of the wonderful hymn Amazing Grace usually find me misty-eyed and full of emotion. Sometimes I'm totally moved to a very cathartic release and a flood of tears upon hearing and singing the hymn. Of course I used to cry when Bambi's mother got killed. I suppose that's just how I am and I'm now at ease with my sentimental self. I like the fact that I can cry easily from happiness and feelings of love and gratitude. I treasure and savour each and every joyful moment that moves me to tears. Actually, there are not so many. But each one is like a pearl on the string of pearls that encircles the happiest moments of my life. The thought of moving from the darkness of feeling isolation, separation and fragmentation which produce fear and anxiety into feelings of connectedness, wholeness, safety and love, always produce wonderful feelings of peace within me. It is these feelings that I wish to foster, and I know I'm not alone in this quest. I think a big reason why I occasionally have these sorts of emotional responses as an adult is a void of expressed love and approval from my parents when I was a child in their care. I know others share a similar experience of their parent-child relationship. So many times I have heard and read stories of how horses have affected people in the most positive and miraculous of ways. I've seen many such occurrences firsthand. There are numerous accounts of how horses have helped heal people from physical, emotional and mental challenges. Books on this topic are many and easily available. Pet and equine-assisted therapies are now an accepted method of positive support for the learning-challenged, confined elderly, hospital patients, mentally ill and humans facing other difficult situations. Certain convicted criminals in our prison system are given the opportunity to train and or rehabilitate horses. There is evidence that these prison-based equine programmes are the most effective rehabilitation programmes available today. I believe that at the core of these positive responses to successful interaction with horses and other animals as well is the merging perceived of differences and separation into feelings of oneness and wholeness with accompanying feelings of acceptance. I wrote The Story of Pete, which was about my first horse in Colorado, who had a reputation as an outlaw and was due to be destroyed because of his dangerous behaviour. My experience with Pete was one of these experiences of turning fear to trust. I have cried happily many times in response to the outcomes with Pete. He has become positively brilliant, providing equine-facilitated learning for children and grown-ups with learning disabilities, as well as normal people. I feel his love for me all the time and I send it right back to him. There's no separation between us. Even when I travel away from where he is, I still somehow feel his loving presence with me. I have worked with thousands of horses over my 50 years as an equine professional and I am very fortunate to have had this experience often of turning fear to trust. Each and every time I experience a horse move from anxiety to feeling safe, I am moved into what I would call a state of grace or feelings of grace. When I experience these feelings, I feel whole and complete, unworried, peaceful and connected to something I can only describe as being of a divinely loving nature. With horses, if we first focus on the elimination of fear and the development of trust, all else we desire to do with our horses cannot help but be successful when we add patient, skilful and compassionate leadership into the equation. Whether it is Grand Prix competition or simple trail riding, partnership with the horse that is based on mutual trust and excellent human leadership cannot help but succeed. As with all relationships, developing trust happens over time. 
There's no quick scenario or magic pill that will instill trust in an individual. If someone saves your life, you might think that that is evidence you can trust that person. However, that is not necessarily true. The person has certainly earned your gratitude, but actually may not have earned your trust. Between spouses, good friends, close companions, family members, etc., this trusting, compassion and love-based relationship can and does produce feelings of grace within the individuals involved. Somehow, feelings of grace provide a break and a reprieve, even if momentary, from whatever worry, anxiety, fear, tension and stress we are facing at any time. Even small successes with horses which come about through turning a bit of fear to trust because they are a prey-flight animal can provide us with an experience of amazing grace. I think meditation is a great method for centering ourselves, focusing, getting into the now, the present moment, de-stressing, as well as offering many other benefits to those who do it. I sometimes expressly teach successful horsemanship as a form of meditation. Depending on who I'm teaching, I may or may not use the term meditation, as there are those who will have a negative attitude towards it because of a lack of knowledge and understanding of what that really means. As a teacher, being politically correct has its place. However, learning can be impaired by rigid mindsets and prejudicial viewpoints. Semantically dancing around a person's erroneous opinions and unfounded beliefs is not my favourite thing to do, but sometimes it is necessary to get certain basic points across. I believe states of grace can be found through meditation. I know this for a fact, as I have experienced it during my own meditations. Similar experiences can be fostered when we focus on helping others, as opposed to always seeking to get for ourselves. This goes for helping horses eliminate fearful feelings too. There are many places that we can now go to learn about being with and training horses in gentle ways, using internet searches to find trust-based trainers, thoughtful and even spiritual paths with horses can provide many options for those seeking better relationships with horses. If one is open to spirituality, there is no better or more profound spiritual path than one being accompanied by a horse. To me, the message within the Amazing Grace hymn means moving from darkness to light, from ignorance to wisdom, from separateness to wholeness, and from fear to to love. Freedom from fear is one of the greatest rewards and benefits of grace. Understanding the value in compassion, service, kindness, tolerance and embracing peace immediately provides us with a state of grace when we are with our horses and manage to quiet our minds and open our hearts. It is then that grace wholeness and inner peace Amazing becomes a part of our immediate grace. and conscious experience. This is Amazing the Grace, the joy of compassionate and successful horsemanship. Like me. I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see